He thought I was too young for him and it was almost over just like that. What would you say the hardest thing over the last year would be? What's up guys, it's Clancy and today is the day before Zach and I's one year, which sounds super anticlimactic. You're probably expecting me to say today's our one year, but we're actually gonna be up in Dayton for a wedding. So we kind of have to get this done with now. We're basically, I got Zach a couple of things. I wanna show you guys. I'm actually kind of warm right now in my big fuzzy robe. This thing is my life. I woke up this morning, went to the gym, showered, and now here we are all while Zach is asleep. Obviously with my schedule, I'm just a morning person and he gets more stuff done at night, but let me show you what we got him. He hasn't seen any of it yet, but let's, let's see. First up, we're in the bathroom where I got him I love the crap out of you toilet paper because basically we have a lot of inside jokes that I'm not really gonna get into. Next thing, I got us both self-scoring IQ test booklets because from the beginning we are always in a debate of who is the smartest. Obviously it's me, but he doesn't really see that so I'm gonna have us both take these tests to finally um, put the end to it. They're the same exact ones. And then lastly, I got these FC Cincinnati tickets, which hold sentimental value, of course, because FC Cincinnati was the very first date we ever went on, which yes, was tomorrow last year, which is so crazy to even think about that a whole year has gone by, like what? But it has, and it has seriously been like the best year ever. We just gotta wait till Zach wakes up. This is the story of my life, just waiting till Zach wakes up. Oh, well, Zach is awake right now. <laughs> What's up? Morning. <laughs> He's tired, but I wanted to show the protein shakes that we drink every morning. Zach, thank you, he so kindly made for us this morning. Yeah. Thank you. Do you like the consistency? Yeah, that's the key with these. You gotta get the perfect consistency, but mine is protein powder, banana, ice, <coughs> water. His is the same exact thing, except he adds a little bit of peanut butter, but I'm allergic. But actually, Zach, explain to them um, your current situation with the protein powder. Well, I'm only allowed to use <laughs> The poor man's protein powder, the <laughs> kind that Clancy doesn't like. But explain why. My mom got me it. <laughs> yeah, you just don't like it, so you force me to eat this. When the better, more nutritious, better flavored protein sits here. You'll be back on track in no time. You, How many more packets do you have left? He's been at this for like months. Yeah. You have just three more packets left. Two more, two more. Good job, you've been doing well. <laughs> Thanks, dear. Congrats. <laughs> so I always get so many questions asking, what do I do on the weekends? Well, the weekend mornings, this is pretty much what it looks like almost every weekend morning. It can look like this because this is perfection. Protein shake, water, coffee, protein shake, and then a little bit of TV. And yeah, isn't that just perfection? So this is a little while later. Zach and I have just been sitting around. But Zach, I want you to explain what you just said about me getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to go to? You know what I'm talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. I have no idea what you're talking about. Zach literally goes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say this. This is not true. <laughs> yes, it is. Internet. Whatever she's going to say, it's not true. He literally goes, <laughs> maybe you shouldn't come to the <laughs> No. Maybe you shouldn't come to the wedding looking like that. I mean, not like this, but like you're just not going to be able to look good enough in my presence. And then you said, go to the Clancy room to really get ready. It's not true. <laughs> You're beautiful, I'm only obviously getting before we all know someone's gonna come and be like, what? Well, they're gonna comment already after. They're gonna not even listen to the, the end. <laughs> listen, he's kidding. Great. <laughs> That's gonna think I'm a meanie. You are. No. Bye. No. All right, so now it is time for the moment we have all been waiting for, where I will stop looking like an absolute mess and actually get ready. This is just the highlight of life. And actually, so obviously, um, for TV news, I have to get ready every single freaking morning. Like, yeah, for any job, you'd get ready, but like, I have to do the whole nine yards of my makeup routine. Let me know if you want to see that, by the way. But it's actually nice to like be relaxing and just doing whatever I want, not worrying about being shiny on air or anything like that. So I actually genuinely enjoy this time. We have our large cup of tea, my third of the day, I'm tired. Get some water to hydrate because I'm not even gonna pretend like I didn't eat an entire bag of popcorn last night that had a lot of salt in it and everything else that you should not be eating. Okay, I actually changed it to my other robe because this one's more like getting ready for a night out even though it's like noon right now, but the white one is when I'm in the morning at two o'clock getting ready. I need some, like a, a hug, it's like a hug, you know? But right now we don't need a hug, so let's go do that. And this is the finished look. Oh no, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the, the camera. 
typical. <laughs> I just got ready in record time, what can I say? We've had so many weddings to go to, it's just, I don't know, a million this summer. I'm running out of dresses here and I can't buy a new dress every wedding, obviously. I can't afford that lifestyle. So I just went into my closet and this dress, eh, I can show you guys if I like maybe put this here. I actually got, um, from Lily Pulitzer in like a collab video a couple years back. TPT, that was the summer that I actually went hard on YouTube and did it full time and then now that is not the case and I'm a failure with YouTube but kind of. We're going in and out. Sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm not. You don't look okay, dear. Do you like what you look like? Mm -mm, it's not gonna get it any better. Yeah, you're telling me. So right now it is the next day because we're failures and didn't vlog anymore. Did I vlog yesterday? Yeah, remember when we woke up? The protein smoothies? Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's literally just been a day. Now we are back. Day one here. Oh my gosh, yeah. And the, <laughs> the worst part is we didn't even we didn't even say anything until. Hours. <laughs> no, it was like 45 minutes. Okay, well it felt like it felt like hours. I was just guys I woke up and I was like he didn't even whisper in my ear. <laughs> you didn't he didn't whisper anything. And we left and didn't tell my dad. Oh happy my gosh, Father's we're on the way and I'm like, oh my gosh, Zach, we didn't tell your dad happy Father's Day. But anyway, happy anniversary. One year ago at this time, I probably would have started getting ready. Zach, confession time, bought a new pair of shorts for our first date. I did. They were nice. <laughs> they were nice. Pair. They worked. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, Zach and I hadn't met before we went on our first date. You can watch our boyfriend tag. We can link it down below or if you want to rewatch it. So yeah, so that was a nice little first. Link down below is like, what you do. Yeah, link down below. But. I told Zach I wanted to show him a funny video. I haven't told him what this video is. You guys already know because I'm going to put it what this video is. But I thought this would be really funny. And I was always like, oh, I'll never show this video. But no. You were going to put it on YouTube but somehow never show me? No, I'd no, never show it. It just like, was a video that wasn't supposed to go anywhere. I'm not sure I reveal myself. Snapshot of time. I don't even know. I'm probably going to end up deleting this. It's going to be <laughs> too many to look back on. Really, though. Oh, is this our first date? Oh, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was getting ready. And I was like, let me just film this, that'll be funny. The funny thing is I actually also did this a week before with another guy. Oh, wow. And I was, and I, Pretty frequent okay. uh, videos on our first dates. No, but that one, I was literally just like, whatever. And also I wore the same exact outfit. I was like, obviously they won't know. Me and that guy. I'm actually nervous. I mean, I do get nervous for dates. Like the last one I went on, I was just so like, I don't even care. I was like, I just wanna get this over with. I was going out with my friends that night and that's my biggest priority, but this one I'm actually a little bit scared about. Um, scared. <laughs> gosh, this could go so wrong. Dates are so annoying because they can just go so wrong. Like, you just don't know what first dates, at least. You just don't know life, so. This is just dumb. I don't even know why I'm recording this right now. I'm gonna hang up or whatever. I'll end it. I, well, I can't even, t okay, I well, literally feel like I should take energy. dumps because I'm that nervous. Like, my stomach is gonna throw up. That doesn't even make sense. You see, now I'm not how much have a conversation on a date if I can't even talk. Oh, okay. One last look at the makeup. I think it's gonna be a little, a little bit shiny on the forehead. A little bit shiny. Don't wanna be a disco ball, you know. Well, good thing you did that, or else it might have been. Why don't we hit South quick? <laughs> Whatever. South there's quick. like no pressure though because I'm 22 years old. So that's what someone has to tell me. Oh, that's funny. The next pressure. song in my there's no pressure. Oh, there's Darn it! I do look a little bit dumb. I need to like, I know what to do. I don't know what to do. doing the exact same thing. <laughs> Looking in the mirror. Oh, yeah. do my hips look too big in the shorts? <laughs> oh yeah, that's why I had to go get new ones. <laughs> <laughs> my butt looked too big in all the other ones. Oh man, that's so funny. That was a year ago today. Probably right now. So do you think it seemed, a year feels like longer ago or shorter ago? Uh, shorter, for sure. What do you think? No, I think it he feels like yesterday. It's weird to think, like when you think about that day though, it feels like at least a year ago. But then when you think about like actually how long it Like it's weird oh. to think that we went through a whole year of like driving a date and driving a Cincy commute. Like it's so weird that all that happened. Now we're living like a whole different life. Yeah. I mean, has this been like the best year of your life? I would say like 
Top 20. <laughs> <laughs> top 20 of my 27. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's definitely number one. Oh, tell them how you told my parents how you thought my age was a problem. We were talking about that in Ireland. And I knew it. I could tell on our first date. Tell well, it was just our first date. And I think I made a pretty common joke about like a movie that would have been like popular from like my high school years. It's probably like super bad or something. We probably said something about like McLovin and pretty cool joke. Um, and she just didn't get it whatsoever. There was no recollection of anything on her face. So I was like, do you not know what that's from? And I said it. And then she still didn't understand. And I'm like, like, you didn't see super bad. I'm like, how old are you? Like, almost joking. Like making a joke like, oh gosh, how old are you? And she's like, oh, I'm 22. And at that time I was 26. Again, four years isn't that big of a deal, but I, at 26, didn't think I'd ever date a 22 year old. And I was just like, oh, this has been a nice first date. <laughs> no, literally, he thought I was too young for him and it was almost over just like that. Because I could tell you were like, what, you're 22? And it was just so awkward. And I was like, this is not happening right now. Well, you have proven to be a little bit more mature than most 22 and 23 year olds. But I'm 23 now. Not much. <laughs> we're still working on it. Yeah, he's, and you said like, you literally thought like that was not good. I just didn't think you were 20. I mean, you presented yourself. Well, you seemed older than 22 months of date. It's uh, seemed to work out so far. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no, it's been good. It's been good. Definitely uh, lucky that she texted me. Lucky about my mom. Yeah. Connecting the dots. And uh, lucky that you landed a job that you wanted down in Cincinnati to be here and we found a good apartment. The last two months with you down here has been good. I thought it, the transition, I think I was, I think we were both probably a little nervous about the transition just to what that would look like. Yeah. Never living together. We kind of did the mini living together in the weekends, but I think it's been easier than anticipated. I mean, I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't have a ton of concerns, but. Yeah, it's been like, I thought it was going to be, I don't know. Yeah. Like you just, you picture everything like, oh, what are we gonna, what are we gonna like fight about? What are we gonna, obviously we've had our ups and downs some, but like we haven't like, we don't like fight about anything. Good job. Zach says, which I don't remember, I'll be, I'll be honest, we were drinking, but Zach apparently okay. says that I said we weren't gonna last six months or something like that. Oh, well, it was one of our, it was probably our second date. <laughs> And she was like, oh, I don't talk to any guys more than six months. So we, we probably won't talk even six months. So we've done six months times two. Somehow, some way. I wonder where we'll be a year from now. Probably here. <laughs> I hope. Well, like, and like, you, are you meaning like in sense that you're like dating? Yeah. Well, I don't try to hope still together. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, well, question, big question mark for Clancy. What if we're going to be dating? No. We will. Stay tuned for the two year <laughs> anniversary. What would you say the hardest thing over the last year would be? I mean, if we're talking the whole year, the hardest thing was us not living in the same city. Yeah. Like being, only seeing each other for those weekends. Yeah. What, what about you? Uh, no, I'd say that too. Especially like if you went to travel, like when you went to Ireland the first time last year and whatnot, like we just wouldn't see each other for two weeks with you probably enjoying the pace of the relationship moving a little bit slower. It probably was a good thing. Yeah. Trying to just ease into it versus trying to go full speed ahead. I was, a, I'm a way like slower and he's way faster, which is why I think it was perfect because I feel like we were somewhat in the middle naturally. Oh, yeah. Like naturally, I feel like you'd be more like boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm more just like, boom. <laughs> I don't talk to anybody for six months. I don't remember saying that, so as far as I'm concerned, I didn't. And I was probably totally kidding, let's be real. But no, I just want to do this little one year vlog. I thought it'd be fun, kind of just, you know, doing this whole thing. And I think it'd be really fun to do like a three month living together video where you like answer questions about it, stuff like that, so. And an apartment tour. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.